Eh, that wasn't as good. Hey guys, leave leave Kevin alone, okay? I was on top of it. You guys are like the that person who says everything after I've already said it. You know when people are like in a gang brawl and there's that leader and then the leader's like little henchman who like copies. Yeah, what are you doing in this part? We're gonna have a little fun with this guy. Yeah, we're gonna have a little fun with this guy, you know? I got I got a covered guys, don't worry. I got a hand. Yeah, the echo. <laughs> the echo. Why don't you use that slide strap for one, two? It's extremely inconsistent, and um, the Goomba's always in the way, preventing me from reaching a speed of 56. I don't know my speeds, guys. I don't know what's going on. Okay, 61. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of good movies. Okay, guys, do you know what I realized when I was at the movies as well? Is that they made they made two vital mistakes. Number one, first and foremost, they showed the Marvel Infinity War trailer at the beginning of the movie. So that was their biggest mistake because the movie we watched was way worse than obviously what Marvel was creating. So they kind of, they, they should just not have done that. And second of all, they played the Marvel Infinity War trailer in the middle of all the trailers so the the trailers that came after the infinity trailer was like boring as shit it's like how do you how do you follow up with that how do you keep up with marvel infinity war trailers you can't you can't do it it's impossible You're going to be disappointed? No way. MCU and comics are vastly different. Well, they're supposed to be. Why is my green screen going nuts? And then it just like fixes itself. Primary universe is 616, ultimate is universe 1610. See, stuff like that, right? Like, there's a universe where there's like a, a bunch of different Spider-Mans. There's a universe where like everyone's lifted Thor his hammer. There's universe, you know what I mean? Like, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is another universe to go alongside of the, all those universes. So no one can, no one can say how this universe is supposed to go. That's the exciting part about it. Guys, stop ruining it. Everyone's like, it's gotta exactly like the one comic I love the most if it's not <laughs> if it doesn't go like comic 316 gonna kill myself there's a billion different Captain Americas and Thors all spread along the different comics and all this other stuff you know Marvel Zombies is the best universe. I know, I know, I know what you're saying, Jabim. I feel you. 
I, it's because I have that same love for like Dragon Ball Z and stuff. I, I know what you, I know what you're about. I'm not really talking about you. Yo, Omega, what up? I just watched the randomizer final. Right on, man. Why is my green screen doing this? It's just like all of a sudden it's like, nope, here we go. I'll fix it though. Oh, it's, I know why it's doing this. It's cause I switched it up with my white shirt and then my white shirt was acting, okay. I know. I know what's going on. Kind of pretty close there, but I think I fixed it. White shirts and green screens equal fun time. Yeah, too much, too much light shining off some of these levels in Mario Three. The black around really sprays off of my TV. It's like attacking. That's the beauty of the comics and everything. Everyone's entitled to like their own opinions on how they feel about everything. Yeah, Affin Infinity War is, is a rendition of the Infinity Gauntlet 12 part comic series, right? It is. It's, a, it's based off of that and a story comes from that and the whole thing comes together, you know, with the similar story to that, but it's not gonna be the same, right? In the actual comic, almost everyone dies, right? And stuff like that. And in, in Infinity War, I don't think that they're gonna do that. I know Chris Helmsworth... Like, they're gonna have another Avengers movie after Infinity War, so clearly not everyone dies. Also... Also, do you guys... I don't know how many of you are into the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe, but how many of you still think Ultron is alive? If there's anything I know from the comics and how things go, I think Ultron is still alive. Amazing that that happened. Yo, Disco, what up, dude? Yeah, I, th I definitely think Ultron is still alive. Most likely. He comes back and takes the gauntlet. He's gonna do it. Well, they haven't done a single hint towards Ultron being alive, like, at all. Like, they've... Normally, the, like, Easter egg little things all over the place... He can't use the gauntlet, but he, t he takes it in one of the stories, doesn't he? So, I was- I was kind of curious, guys. We know... Actually, no, we don't know for sure. I don't know when he's gonna jump. I could have got the fire kill, but no. Yo, Game J, what's up, my brig? I th yeah. I
for multiple characters. Well, wasn't Ant-Man the one? The, uh, wasn't Ant-Man actually the creator of something? I don't know what. Maybe it was Ultron. I'm not sure. But like, like I was explaining before, they have to like. This is a new story, a new era, a new timeline. So whereas in a different universe, Ant-Man had something to do with Ultron, and this one, no. Right. So I know, guys. I try. I want. I want some things to just like stay true to certain comics and certain universes, but I try my best to keep an open mind. And that's that open mindedness is what's led me to love every single Marvel movie except for Winter Soldier. That is the only Marvel movie I can if I watched if I watched the Marvel movies in a marathon before Infinity War comes out, you better believe I'm skipping the Winter Soldier. No, I didn't like Winter Soldier that much. Like, it's got some cool stuff to it, but... I'm good. Winter Soldier didn't do, didn't do it for me. I liked Captain America 3 and definitely Captain America 1. Captain America 2, definitely not. I liked that Bucky came back. That was cool. You didn't really care for Civil War or Thor 2. Lots of people didn't like Thor 2 either. I was fine with Thor 2. It's freaking Thor. Thor 3 was amazing. I agree. Ragnarok was so good. Yeah, Thor 2 I thought was fine as well. It's, they're all good, man. I love them all. I'm not going to hate watching Captain America 2. I'll watch it, but you know what I mean? You think you need Thor 2 to get to Thor 3? Yeah. With the big bendy horns. I love when Matt Damon says that. You make a statue of me. With the big bendy horns. Yeah, I'm actually like two seasons behind Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think I'm two seasons behind. Yo, thank you, Pauline. Yeah, man. It was a treacherous battle, but we fought through. My second favorite... My second favorite thing in Thor Ragnarok, other than the, the bendy horns part, is... um. When Banner's not the Hulk anymore, he's like, I don't want to fight your sister. And he's like so grossed out by it. He's like, that's a family thing. He's like, I don't... <laughs> I don't know. I love that stuff. I got to get my shot down for that. Don't watch Iron Fist. I'm not going to. I know what the Iron Fist is about. I don't need to. Whiny little baby. That's what Iron Fist is. Oh no, you can punch super hard with, what, what is it, fire? Super scary. You're a part of a ninja clan. Yeah, well. Yeah, Doctor Strange was amazing. Now here's my ultimate question. What's your guys' theory on how long Doctor Strange time looped with Dormammu? I'm curious, that's the only thing that I want to know so bad with Doctor Strange. How many times did he die, and how long was he in an epic time loop with Dormammu? Like, you'd have to think that Dormammu wouldn't concede for like, I don't know, maybe a thousand years first. Right? It's Dormammu, okay? There's no way he gave up after like three hours. Obviously not. You're guessing six years, Jabum, or do you know it was six years?
Yeah, maybe not a thousand years. I'm stretching it a little too long. Four minutes, no longer. He was, uh... He was arguing with Dormammu for one quick fap, and then he was out of there. To Doctor Strange is literally an instant. Yeah, I guess it would have been to Doctor Strange. Well, no, because Doctor Strange has the memory of the time loop, right? So when he goes back and says his little line, he remembers his previous times. That's how he's able to constantly explain to him it's a time loop. If it was an instant to Doctor Strange, he wouldn't remember that he put on the time loop because before he puts the time loop on, he thinks of the time loop. Then after, he would have no memory. Kind of thing. I don't know. That's, that's too complicated right now. I have no idea how that would work. All I know is it wasn't... Yo, Sessa, what's going on? Right? Is, is, is 12 the middle of the night? Is that what they classify the middle of the night? Yo, I'll go. Why not? How is the Sorcerer Supreme going to lose the Time Stone? Do you guys think that Infinity... Because they're going to do a, a, an Avengers 4. What do you think is going to be in the Avengers 4? Like, Do you think they're going to do what they did in the comics where, where Thanos comes to Earth with only the Power Stone and the Time Stone? And then obviously he tries to get the other stones, but he can't, he can't succeed. So he goes and grabs the other stone, which would be the... What is it? The Stone of Sight or something? Because in the comics, Thanos comes to Earth with only like two stones or one stone or something, and he can't defeat them, so then he leaves. Thanos goes back to space, and then comes back. I think that could be argued. I think Thanos only having the, the power stone doesn't mean he can win. Fucking Doctor Strange will just throw some time at that at that bitch. Whoever's got the Mind Stone can just fucking convince him. Otherwise, be like, leave our planet, please. <laughs> Thanos is pretty pretty thick, man. He's juicy. Yeah. Who knows though? Who knows, man? Who knows? It's very exciting. It's a different story. It's not going to be like anything we think. A lot of different things, and that's what's going to make it a good movie. The ability to predict, predict your movie is boring as shit, man. I don't want to know what happens. I want to be surprised. I want epicness. Yeah, the Mad Titan's pretty OP, right? No, I don't really read comics. Oh no. I was scared that I didn't use the star. Vision's gotta die. Well, we don't know if Vision dies by losing his stone, right? We don't know for sure. Maybe Mrs. Cho can help him out or something before, you know. Maybe when they realize, oh, Thanos is for the stones. Like, we did see the in the trailer. Thanos ripping the stone. Well, we saw something like that. Awesome. It was probably Loki ripping the stone, doing some some trickery. The Lord of the Lord of Trickery. He's a trickster. Who knows? I I'd survive if I had a power stone embedded in my forehead. Obviously, I'd survive.
It's just a dead Jarvis, exactly. Well, back into the computer you go. I just don't know how you can beat somebody with the time stone. That, that to me has never made any sense. So if you're strong enough, I guess the, the strength of the person wielding the stone is what makes the stone, you know, as powerful as it can be. Because your original thought would be someone who can break free of the spell of the time stone. Why would they even need the time stone anyways? Like, what purpose would it do? You don't... You can alter time for everyone else? Well, you just kick their asses. You don't need to alter their time. I guess you could alter your own time. It's like, I want to be young again. Ah, yes. I never understood the ether as the reality stone. That one's a little weird. Yeah, but Heimdall can see the souls of everyone, almost. Heimdall makes sense to me too. Heimdall on Asgard. You don't think it's in Wakanda or with Heimdall? Where do you think it is? What if Wolverine has it? Apparently, Wolverine, in one of, in some of the, some of the other comics, Wolverine also fights Thanos and stuff. He's a part of the Infinity War, or the Gauntlet Wars, or whatever you want to call it in the comics. You just don't think either of them has it? Well, they're making it a big secret for some reason. Why are they making its location such a big secret? Like, other movies, it's like the, the main part of the movie. But this one, it's just like they don't want to tell us until Infinity War. Could be. Well, not after Thor 3. Nothing's on Asgard. I guess one's with Asgard. It's a people.
Doesn't Nick Fury take his eye patch off though in one of the movies? It's under his eye patch for sure. I'm with you on that one. Nick Fury's hiding it in his eye patch. Spider-Man's the hero in, in what? A, di a direct way or an indirect way? Like, Spider-Man did something to, like, in, in one of the other comics, Spider-Man released the Avengers from, like, a spell or something, and then that allowed them to beat Thanos. Are you saying... Or do you think Spider-Man's just gonna man up and kick the shit out of everything? Howard the Duck has the last stone. Where the soul stone is, please enlighten us. <laughs> That's exactly where it is. Will you guys will do, will you guys be more annoyed if they do something stupid with the soul stone? Oh, it was there all along. The the whatever number of Avengers come together to form a circle and the stone appears like Will you only accept the soul stone it's if it's in one of the like six places people think that it is? I feel like if it's not people are going to be pissed. Yeah, that looks pretty cool as well. I pressed down, man. I just, I don't get it, dude. It's in my heart. It's been there all along. If it's something stupid like the power of friendship. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty annoying, wouldn't it? <laughs> the power of friendship. Well, they can't use Adam Warlock, right? They don't own the rights to Adam Warlock or Silver Surfer or anything. At least not whenever they were scripting the movie. That's why Marvel America or whatever the new girl is, she's going to be the new Adam Warlock. Captain Marvel or whatever. <laughs> Yo, X Water, what up? Doctor Doom was also massive, that's right. Surfer belongs to Fox. Yeah. So no, Adam Warlock cannot have the stone or be a part of it. So that that little that little thing there was just I don't think that's ever gonna show up in Infinity War. And if it does, 
I don't think it's gonna be Adam Warlock inside. It'll be me. What? Oh my god, that's two inputs eaten. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but that wasn't when they did Guardians of the Galaxy and made that storyline, right? They've had this pre-planned for so long, and I'm pretty sure they did all the plannings without reuniting some characters back into the franchise, right? Unless unless they're changing the story, which would be pretty dope, man. Unless they planned to have everything back and then applied with the story. Who knows? Who knows, man? I don't want to know because, you know, secrets. I just want to squiggle my toes in excitement and wondering what's going to happen in Infinity War. You know? That's all I want to do. This was planned since the Hulk in 2008, right? See? Just let imagination and fantasy take over for, you know, like two hours of your life. You know? Yeah, but I don't think they're... They're not using the same Quicks Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, though, right? The mutants, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, are descendants... Well, not descendants, well, regardless. They're children of Magneto, and Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are not children of Magneto in Marvel. So they can share the same name, but they do, like, the same thing. So how are they not portrayed as those mutants? They're enhanced, created by the stone. It's so strange how they allow certain things. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's no way I didn't get P-Speed there. <laughs> nice try, game. Nice try. Yes, don't forget, guys. You only have a couple days left to sign up for the Mario 3 tournament. Do not miss out on it. Uh, you go to the Discord sign-up sheet. Friggin' around inside that water.
That was a nice fall through. All right, 6-8. This level's easy. There's just those odd times where it just does not work for me. Sick! We did it! It's incredibly difficult to keep that P-Speed. And it's gone. What a fucking asshole, man. When do I ever take damage there? All that work to keep my fire flower. Yo, President, you are up awfully late, man. What's going on? On fire right now? No, I'm making these. Hey, six one was so bad. Yeah, I lost time in this world. You just got up for work. 3.05 a.m. I guess you're Eastern. Could have saved time, boys. Could have saved time. Top tier strats. I think it's time for my first star. Indeed it is. Saying you like you like the Marvel movies, it's good enough for me. Right on. Uh, you want to do the hand levels in 100%. Are you guys ready for the swaggiest tail swipe you've ever seen? 
Oh, I biffed it. I biffed it. It's okay. We can recover. We can recover from such horrors. We can try and go for this sexy slide right here. Yeah, you guys like that one. You guys definitely like that one. the clip did you see it tampa i clipped up top if he asks for a video say we lost it what am i doing dude i'm so bad man I didn't need to do that. Why didn't I just damage boost? <laughs> I'm so dumb sometimes. I mean, I got to manipulate it, but... It's all about manipulating the munchers. Wish me luck in my grand adventure. If he shot fire there, I could have died. Risky business. I'll try it once, obviously. Twice. I will say, though, it cost me a lot of time there, guys. Oh, I was nervous there for a second. I didn't know if I was going to make it. All right. Yo, President Buck! One more ticket, no problem, you frig. One more ticket, please. That's so lame, dude. 
Talk about lame things. Messed, I messed up, man. But I'm still, I'm getting better. I don't know if I can hit him with both my shots here. Of course. What a fucking surprise, man. I just wanted to try it. Now I have, now I have to do the, the most stressful, the most stressful battle. He's 15. How did you know he's 15? Because anyone older than 15 wouldn't wouldn't have said that. Didn't we cloud past the level in World 7? Yes. But I did the level. I went back for it. It was the fortress. Wee. So I have to do this stupid lame thing now, which I'm not looking forward to, because if I miss it, then it's like, I might as well just stop. So I still want to do the hand levels because it's 100%, but I want to enter the hands. I don't want the hands to pull me in. If they pull me in, that's a 1.5 second time loss. What a surprise. <sighs> time loss is so bad. Yo, what's up, man? Am I on PB pace? Uh, for these set splits, yes. Not my actual PB. Unless I do something to just, like, own it. Which I don't think so. 
Because I had hammer suit here. But I'm making a more concrete set of times, which is good. I almost actually PB'd. My my PB is one one eleven twenty seven or something. I was very close. I don't have a job, but here's one hundred bitties. Thank you. Almost PB'd. Cool. I was like 20 seconds off from an actual real PB. Right on. That's good. So I, I only lost 11.8 because I didn't have hammer suit here. But I can play much better 